Hey guys, Renee here. Welcome back. So I have a really quick DIY for you today um, that's super cute. It looks super expensive and it's not. And it's all from Dollar Tree items. So the first thing that you will need is a snowman hat. You can pick any of the different ones. This is an ornament. This was $1. And then you will need three of the, I think these are like candle holders, fish bowls, whatever you want to call it. But Dollar Tree sells three different sizes, or you can find them at thrift shops, maybe cheaper. They sell three different sizes, so it stacks perfectly. As you can see that. You will need a bag of the faux snow from there, and you can get the bigger balls or the smaller ones. I got the smaller ones. And then go to the section where they have the little village stuff. And I got these items from there. The park bench comes with two lanterns. I'm only going to use one lantern. This came out of a set with uh, Santa Claus. And then there was another thing in there. So, and then I have this guy, a kid building a snowman. So these are what I'm going to use. This was probably about $2 worth of them. Because they come like three items to every single pack. So, and I'm only using five items. And then, of course, you'll want to pluck through their trees and get a couple of their trees. They come two to a package for a dollar, so you can just get one of those. I just have several of them in here from my village, so that's what I'm going to use. So, you're looking at a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars to do this. And if you don't have any of the supplies already at your house, you can also make a snowman hat. You can use other stuff for snow. Um, I was watching a video, a lady was using Epsom salt for snow. So if you have some of that, you don't even have to buy this. You could use whatever you want for snow. And then if you already have a Christmas village going, just pluck a few of your cute little pieces out of there and a couple trees. This may be even cheaper for you than it you know was for me. So. The first thing that you want to do is, obviously, you're going to open your faux snow up. And I'm going to dump some in each container. And I know I won't even use all this, so you can use the rest of it for a DIY, um, like a snow globe or something. So, and then it's basically just going to be placing the items where you want them to be and just kind of setting them up and you can put the snow in there first or you can put the snow in there afterwards but I didn't want to have to sit there and like shake it around to get the snow to So I'm just going to add like a couple little whatever trees that I want. Make sure they're obviously short enough that they're not going to impede with that one's too tall. So you definitely need a couple shorter trees. So we're just going to. And I'm actually going to throw like a third little tree in there because I want to. But. Like I said, if you have a village already, then you're going to stack and I'm going to put the little park bench. some of these because it's a bit too much it's covering up my bench and I knew putting the little balls of snow in here was gonna make it a little bit more challenging um, if you used like Epsom salt it probably would not be as challenging as this is because these balls are making all the things like move so I'm 
and I'm going to dump out some of this snow. I think I got excited about the snow. Of course, this is a mess, these little balls. They're little styrofoam balls. And of course, I'm going to top it with Santa and... And if you want to make it permanent, I mean, you could also hot glue these guys in there. But I like to be able to take mine apart each year and change it up. So, and I'm out of teeny tiny trees. So, <clears throat> then you just take your snowman hat and set it right on top. You can also add like a scarf around right here. But like I said, I like to leave mine not glued together because I take it down and it's easier to store that way, and I just put fresh stuff in there every year. All right, guys, so there is the snowman, and I think he is just so adorable. So down here. So this is a really, really, really nice way if you have like a small house or a small apartment and you love the Christmas village, this is a really nice way to be able to have like a little village without taking up a lot of space.